you made a statement. and welcome to This Generation. I'm Jeannie Green, your hostess this week. And by the way, stay tuned. The next half hour, Heartbeat Alaska is more of the same. We're traveling to Kotzebue, Alaska. Now watch closely on this show, kids, because maybe if you do, you'll learn how to Eskimo dance. One, one two, three, go! Over the centuries, native people of the North have gathered together for many different occasions whether it be to celebrate a successful hunting season or to be reunited with relatives and friends or for trade and commerce. The native people have kept strong ties to each other, whether they be Aleut, Athabascan, Clinket, Haida, or Inupiat. Natives from across the Northern Hemisphere, even from Russia, would come together in the Kotzebue region to trade goods and join in Inupiat games and activities, as well as to socialize and reunite. For many of the elders of the region, the trade fair is but a memory a valued treasure from their past that has disappeared into the pages of history. However, it has not been forgotten. During one of our elders' meetings and during our elders, uh, during the wellness conferences that we had in Kosovo, they suggested that as part of our wellness program, we revise and start over and keep the trade fair continuing here in Kosovo. The trade fair for hundreds of years, it, it occurred over in Sisoli. And then it moved to Kotzebue. But the trade fair gathered people from all over the Northern Hemisphere, from, from the North Slope, from the Russian Far East, from the Bering Strait region, from Canada, that the people with their maps, the skin boats, came over and traded. And we certainly know the time age people used to come over. Even when I was a kid, they used to still come over to Kotzebue with their, their skin boats. And some of those, some of them are still here. I, I, I think those remember, uh, they at least remember Hugo Aikart in the store. So that was uh, when they used to come over. So we certainly welcome all of you. To begin the ceremonies, all eyes turn towards the Lord in song and worship. For these spiritual people, all thanks go to the Creator.
event of the trade fair, the stock race. The kids were obviously enjoying the activities, but these activities weren't just for the youth. There was also a competition for the best attic look and fur parky. <laughs> competition it was time to get the blood pumping again this time with the wheelbarrow race okay on your mark get set go and they're off we got the big shirt followed by the blue shirt followed by the blue shirt blue shirt blue shirt blue shirt blue shirt way in the back the green jacket kind of faded now they're going to switch partners and the legs just won't change High kick would be the last event of the evening prior to the drumming and dancing. Four inches at a time the ball was raised until there were just two athletes remaining. gathering this time a family a family getting together here in Anchorage Alaska you pick family selling pizza and subs you guys want a pizza yeah. you guys want a pepperoni pizza or a cheese pizza cheese. okay cheese. you guys like Phillies yeah <laughs> Hello, it's in the end, it's in my take order. Where native traditions and modern cash economies encounter each other, 
bread dough sometimes rises. Okay, what we're going to do now is butter the crust. The Agatluk family from Imanic has been close-knit for eons, cooperating in fishing, hunting, and pastime, history and future melding together to form a copacetic present. Meat and pepperoni, one mix of Philly and two original Phillies and onions. Okay, yeah. Uh, we go out seal hunting, whale hunting, and also um, bear picking. It was a we. We'd all go as a family. Like when we were out in fifth camp, I assigned uh, somebody to, they had the fifth open the uh, stomach, clean out the inside. Oh, we'd make a open fire and we'd um, cook off, we'd put our fists on sticks and cook them over the fire, or we'd put birds on the sticks and cook them over the fire. We call them maniakin. Subsistence, so close to the heart of this family and so many others in Alaska, centers around food, the thing that brings nourishment, flavor, and a shared experience to people. And we want 20 of them, man. 20 of them is $14.99, so there's four, eight. Nine. And food is now providing a living for the family as well. Uh, Nicholas, can I get some, uh, two more food birds? The clan is sojourning into the realm of restaurant management, led by Simeon, the culinary wizard of the family. Mushrooms, onions. He teaches me ways how to cook. Jalapenos, yeah. That's basically a Mexican chili. Gee, my, little, my son was only five at the time, and I woke up um, one morning to my son having a full flame, trying to cook like ungabuxi. Oh my. They call them ungabuxi. <laughs> and I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. Yeah, a little bit of cayenne. Through the years, Simeon used his upbringing to grow, always pushing forward. After trying his hand at DJing and other endeavors, he found his way into the food preparation industry. Sometimes it's just, sometimes it's just the choice you make. Uh, you never know what kind of choice you're gonna make till you get there. You know, then you, then you come up to a crossroad and you say, oh, I need, to, I need to do something now. And this is just one of the things that came easy to me. Simeon always had a knack for getting the job done and brought that strength of will to his new business. House filly, extra meat, no onions, two of those. Without the support of his family, friends, and colleagues though, his venture wouldn't have gone far. Uh, this business here is, uh, you know, everybody in our family comes in and do it, does a little bit. Uh, uh, me and Nicholas over there, is over there, the guy with the, uh, the chef jacket, we're here uh, all the time, every day. Uh, rest of the family, they come in and help when they can. 20 piece buffalo wings, uh, from his cousin Teresa, taking customers' orders, to Nicholas, another cousin, giving a hand in the kitchen, everybody pitches in to help in their own way. You know, leave them in there until the cheese melts. My cousin uh, Nicholas, we call him Demo. Either he does the deliver, I drive, but he'll bring up the food, or my cousin Teresa. <laughs> yeah, you know, they say that, you know, people, you know, in the small communities, they have to, uh, kind of work together to survive and I think it's just the same here in Anchorage uh, you know people and families you know you know come together and do everything they can together to make lives uh, our lives a lot easier when we're working together uh. bye call me later all right yeah, you know I think I think that's how it is it doesn't matter where you are in the city or in the village the more family you have around the more comfortable you are uh. Well, I feel feel happy for him. And he's been going his own way, doing his own thing, and he's getting getting he's accomplishing a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You call yourself a go-getter? Yeah, a lot of people say I am, but you know, I just do the best I can at whatever I can. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so the pizza dough rolls on, slides into the oven for another customer. Uh, 14 inch box. 
and the counter is cleaned in preparation for another day. Simeon and his family have a lot of work to do. You guys enjoy, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. And many mouths to feed. From the banks of the Yukon River Delta, Simeon and his family share the manyak, share the picnic, this time with pizza and subs. <laughs> Join the picnic, Yupik style. Welcome back. In today's world, Native people are reaching back through time, trying to grab hold of Native traditions and ways, holding on to once was the Native way. We're doing a pretty good job of it. We travel now back to Kotzebue, Alaska, to the beat of the drum. For three days, the 2004 Kudavik Northwest Native Trade Fair brought people from great distances together to participate in activities and events that truly reflect the strength and gentle nature of the Inupiat people of the North. After a day filled with activities and games, it was time for the people to share their pride and heritage through drumming and dancing. With pounding drums and intricate motions, dance groups demonstrated the power and beauty of their song and dance.
for watching this generation and kids would you give me a call please 907-563-7440 and tell me what you want us to air on this generation or if you'd like us to come to your village stay tuned now heartbeat alaska is coming up with some really neat video of the traditional gathering in kotzebue god bless you don't go away <laughs>